I have a twist in court today for the Oxford school shooter. During a monthly hearing, prosecutors told the judge Ethan Crumbly has been exhibiting disturbing behavior in the Oakland County Jail. Sean Lay is live tonight, and Sean, this is detailed in a court filing, and you were able to get your hands on it. Yeah, we checked out that court filing line by line, describing disturbing behavior, but not saying exactly what that behavior is. So the question right now at 5 o'clock is, Oxford school shooter behind bars here, he's been here isolated since the very start, since that awful day of the shooting, and he has monitored every single moment that he's isolated in his cell here. Well, what's being described to me as overt actions or overt behavior, not hidden in plain sight, was captured by deputies and their body cameras. They had an obligation to report what that behavior was. And this is what we know about it right now. Today, a surprise revelation from Oakland County prosecutors that the Oxford High School shooter is showing disturbing behavior behind bars. Behavior significant enough to alert the court in this new filing and alert a judge today. As we indicated in the memorandum of law, we recently became aware of some what we believe to be concerning behavior on the defendant's part. We believe that we had a ethical and a legal obligation to provide that information to defense as well as this court. No specifics were given on what that disturbing behavior is, but the issue is huge. It could indicate that the shooter is no longer competent to move forward with his guilty plea. If the issue is not addressed now, his future sentence could be thrown out later, dragging out the pain for victims' families. The 17-year-old remains isolated in a cell at the Oakland County Jail since the shooting, November 30th of 2021. We pulled the prosecutor's memo from court. It reads, recently, defendant has started exhibiting sporadic, disturbing behavior. This behavior has been documented via report and body-worn camera from jail personnel responding to various incidents. Prosecutors go on to say it is not apparent what the cause of the behavior is. The shooter's attorney and court-appointed guardian met with them to discuss the concerning behavior, and they are confident he is competent to move forward. I've also met with Mr. Crumbly over 75 times. Um, I do believe Mr. Crumbly is competent. That has never been a question in my mind. Back here live. So the judge agreed the case now moves forward. Competency to stand trial or get, do his uh, sentencing, which is coming up. Also, the uh, prosecuting office here, their spokesperson said, gave me a statement that this was medical related and they had nothing more to say than that. Devin, Kimberly, back yeah. to you. Well, Sean, you've been checking with the sheriff too to find out what's going on. What's he saying about this? The sheriff's in charge of the jail and the deputies with the body camera and the video. He says he wants to be transparent about what's going on here, but needs to check with corporation counsel or county attorney before, because we're talking about an inmate here under his watch sure. and a medically related situation. Yeah. All right, Sean, keep us posted. Thanks for your story tonight.